Hey everybody, it's Vitaly here at uh, Red Barn Productions, OG Gamer Live, and we're back. And Moza has pretty well sent me a, a complete package of stuff here. Uh, uh, they've sent me the R5 uh, bundle, the SRP light clutch pedal, the ES Formula wheel mod, the HVP handbrake, the handbrake shifter table clamp, and the SRP light brake pedal performance kit. Well, this isn't going to be an unboxing video or anything like that. Uh, all those videos are already up and, and uh, that little how-to videos on, on how to uh, install your brake pedal performance kit, for instance, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to pull disclaimer here. Moza sponsored the channel by sending all this over. However, my uh, opinions are my own and I'm allowed to say whatever I think. Uh, I, I was actually quite impressed with the, uh, with the rep when, when we, were, we were discussing all this. Uh, they basically asked if I'd go ahead and make some uh, product reviews. Uh, 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 you know, and, and their exact words were uh, honest product reviews. And uh, if I find anything wrong, point it out in the video and let them know, and, and they'll see what they can do about correcting it, or, you know, or at the very least looking into it. And uh, so, so naturally, I agree. When you get this in, then you unpack it. If you're going from, say, something like the Thrustmaster. T300, I have this out for reference, this is what I've been using. You might think that that base is a toy because it is so much smaller than that Thrustmaster T300. And I'm sure other people have talked about that and done comparisons. But trust me when I say this, it's no toy. Uh, I had thought about going ahead and, and making video, uh, installing the... Uh, Pedal performance kit. As a matter of fact, I did, and what happened is I lost the audio. So I decided that we were not going to do that all over again. Uh, the only things that I really need to, to cover is I can I can show you in this demonstration. Uh, one of the most common questions that I see over in Discord and over on in their Facebook group is they want to know if the cable that goes between the brake. And the throttle is long enough to move the brake pedal all the way over here. Well, when mine shipped, the brake pedal was in fact already mounted over here and that cable is, is in fact that long. Uh, my only complaint uh, at, uh, at the pedal so far is I wish the cable that goes from the clutch to the brake was about an inch longer. That way I can move it all the way over because it's got one more set of holes. And uh, they show it in that set of holes that actually you need to move it back one in order to, uh, either that or move the, everything over one more. And I don't want to do that. I've got to sit the way I want it. I just wish that cable was a little bit longer between the clutch and the brake. And I could probably make that cable, but uh, I will also let you know that I installed this <laughs> and it's great. Uh, and all the other the videos, they talk about uh, how the brake pedal is, is, isn't stiff enough. And blah, blah, blah. And I, I'm not hating on them. Maybe they're coming from high-end sim pedals and coming back to that. And, and maybe it is a little light. However, if you're coming from the Thrustmaster pedals, let me find them. This is the pedals that came with uh, the Thrustmaster bundle. If you're coming from these to that, then trust me, it's a huge upgrade right out of the box. Uh,
it's a true it, it really is a truly a major upgrade over the t300 rs gt bundle let's uh switch around and get over to the computers i've already got everything hooked up and set up and i've, I've been using it for the last several hours to to uh, get a feel for it so uh i can base my commentary on fact and not what i think so let's get over here to the to the computer and uh get back to it okay now that we're back over at the computer uh let's get over into uh what you need to know about pit house come over to support.moserracing.com forward slash en forward slash support forward slash solutions uh, i will share this link in the video description for any of you that need it and i just went with the the, the latest version of online installer uh, you click on it you download it you run it and i've already got it installed like i said because i've been using this for the last few hours trying to get everything sorted out uh, you can come over and launch pit house now i've set this back hopefully it'll go to, to like when it first launches and it did and you're gonna come down here where the, the little see this little icon down here on the left down right down there under me let me move it aside a little bit see if y'all can see it that way right here under the cloud that settings click on that come over here and when you first set this up you're going to tell it english but it's going to it's going to load up this way by default anyway and then right here it's still going to say english just like that this is what it's going to look like all, all this will be in uh, chinese or whatever check something else put it back on english close the program but second relaunch pit house uh I have pit house pinned to my taskbar, and I'll tell you why here in just a second. We're going to do that, center it. This ships with the game force feedback at about 20. I've bumped it up to 50 and we could, we could probably bump it up some more. Uh, I can't remember what this setting was on, but I set it to 1080. I could probably back that down to 900, but get back over. We're talking about the led light. It's right here. Let me move this over where you can see it. There's been a few complaints that they'll be playing and all of a sudden these lights quit working. They don't work no more. If that happens, come back over into your pit house, click default settings and uh, save it. One of the other things you'll probably need to do is calibrate your pedals. Let's start to calibrate. We're going to start with the clutch. And I'm probably going to change my brake to this curve right here later that one's calibrated let's do the brake That one's calibrated. Let's do the throttle. That one's calibrated. And uh, I've saved it. You can if you want to. The default settings are usually pretty good. Uh, I do have the handbrake, but I don't have it hooked up. That's probably going to be in my next video. As a matter of fact, I think in my next video, I'm going to do the, uh, hold on. In my next video, I'm going to do the ES wheel mod and get that set up and probably do the handbrake at the same time. Uh, once you get all this set up, 
I'm, I have the luxury of having more than one monitor. I'm going to drag that over to another monitor. And I'm going to launch a set of uh, course of competition. And you're going to come over to options, come over to controls, and then you have to come over here and set everything up. I've already got it set up, and I've already got it saved. But you would do, it would look just like this. Click on the steer. Sometimes it doesn't want to see it. Click on the throttle, do the throttle. Click on the brake, do the brake, click on the clutch, do the clutch, uh, shift up, shift down, come back over to the wheel. There it went, see it? And you can set everything here. Come over here and map your buttons. I've already got mine mapped. But the way you would do that. Is uh, choose the button that you want. Of course this one has a big old button that says start. So we're going to do that one. That's button 36. And work my way down the list. And then you come over here. Type in a name. And click save. Um, these aren't my final settings. These are just where I've, I've, I've worked my way up to and I'll get this fine tuned later. Uh, but that's the main things that you need to know about, uh, setting up your, your, uh, your, your pit house software and configure it and something like a set of course of competition. Uh, one last thing is when you're launch the game you need to leave pit house open while you're playing that game even if you have to just minimize it to the taskbar and i have it on the taskbar that way i can find it if i've already launched the game and i need to you know here i'll show you what i'm talking about let's relaunch the game And when I when I open it back up here in a minute, it's gonna come up over in this monitor where y'all can't see it, but that's okay. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. And you may or may not hear my dog coughing and hacking. He's 14 years old and he's he's been sick, so if you do, I apologize. But he's my baby and I love him and he's right over here beside me in his bed. He goes wherever I go. That's a fit if he can't. Okay, I'm going to hit my Windows key. And I'm going to open my Moza software. See, it came up. And it tells me it's, it's, the game is running. And it's, see how it says configured? Most of these games I do not have. But I do have a set of Corsa and a set of Corsa Competition, and I have Race Room, although I do not have it installed. But you need to leave that open, even if it's just minimized to the taskbar. You need to have that open. Don't don't exit the program, otherwise you're liable to experience disconnects and stuff will quit working, and you'll be wondering what's going on, and, and that's what it is. Uh, one more thing about pit house. Bring that back over here before I forget. You come back over here. 
and it's it's gonna you know, when he first launches up it'll have a deal here that it, it's either gonna ask you to activate it or it will do it automatically uh you can click the upgrade all in one click and it should upgrade everything uh if you do an uh an up uh, an upgrade a firmware upgrade and you lose functionality like you something in the, the base like force feedback or something or you lose something in the wheel then click the rollback firmware version and that'll usually fix the problem uh, hope that helps anyway uh, that's it for this video uh, this is Vitaly over here at uh, OG Gamer Live and Red Barn Productions and I hope this helps somebody and uh, our next video will be the, the doing the wheel mod and the handbrake. So be sure to click that subscribe and that notify. Click the bell so you get notified when the new videos go up. Till next time, this is Vitaly. Y'all stay safe wherever you are in the world. And I'm out of here.